Let's see what we can do for our warm-ups and yoga today. So come into mountain pose. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Shoulders back and down. Get your core activated with the ribs towards your spine, lengthening up. And relax your arms. Spread your toes. And just spread your spine apart, reaching your head to the ceiling. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press them to the floor and lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Get that spine nice and stretched apart as you lift your heart. And then pivot at your hips. Exhale, over. Hands toward the ceiling, head toward the floor. Move your chin around to Release your neck a little bit. Lift your sitting bones for a more stretch on your legs. And then bend your knees slightly and wind your way up, keeping your chin slightly in. And lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, but don't lift your chin. So remember, no crunching through that back of the neck. Stretch your head away, lift your heart. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feeling that spine get more activated. And again, inhaling, shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands behind you the opposite way. So shift them one finger over. Lift your heart into the back bend and stretch your spine. And then again, exhale over. Deepen as far as you'd like to go. Move your shoulders around a little bit. See if your hands can come further toward your head. And then bend your knees again slightly as you wind from the bottom of the spine all the way up into the back bend. And again, no lifting that chin, stretch out through the whole spine. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment again, noticing what's going on internally for you, that yoga internal perspective. Side stretches, let's keep one hand down today, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch the hands away and lean to the side, opening those ribs as you push the foot you're leaning away from down. Remember, don't lean forward, you want that side to be getting the opening. Stretch it out as you breathe, just relaxing. Inhale up, keep the shoulder down as you bring the arm around and down. And bring the other one out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. And again, just exhale and lean to the opposite side. Take a moment, stretching it out and breathing. No twist, so don't lean forward. Feel the ribs. And let them open. Inhale up and release. Circle the shoulders back and down. Stretch the spine apart for our twist. Arms up, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders and clasp your elbows. Spread your toes, stretch the spine, and exhale to one side. Take a breath. Exhale over. Keep the weight on both feet, even though you're leaning toward one side. Take a moment, keeping the arms by your ears and the sitting bones lifting. Just feel your body in the twist. And then work your way up, still facing toward the side, lifting your heart as you get to the top. Remember, no pressure in your low back while it's twisted, just a gentle upper body back bend. Arms by your ears, stretch out those elbows. Inhale to the top. Exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, spread your toes, and again, stretch the spine apart, turn to the other side. Another breath, and exhale over. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Take a moment just breathing, lifting the sitting bones. And again, in the twist, work your way up into that upper body back bend, chest high, shoulders down. Take a moment to breathe. Be careful with your low back. Inhale to the top. Exhale around to the center. Shoulders down. Fingertips rising up toward the ceiling. And then swan dive forward. 
chest bleeding, get that whole spine straight through the back of the neck, everything stretched out straight. And then drop into ragdoll, just hanging arms wherever they go. And then if you need to, bend your knees, lift your toes, and put your fingers under, palms up, under your toes. And then straighten your back. So it's called gorilla. So you want to look like the gorilla walking on its knuckles. Stretch the spine as straight as you can. Straighten your knees as much as you can. Stretch it all out. And then release your hands. And one more roll up. Shoulders back and down, coming into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling your spine a little bit more activated. And bring your hands to your heart. Press the palms together just gently. Look at your fingers and bring the hands up toward the ceiling. We'll do a little back bend, so pull those thumbs back while you look at them, lifting your heart. Stretch the back of your neck, don't forget. Out through the crown, spread your toes. Get good balance and support on both feet. Exhale, follow your hands down and interact on. Slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. So pressing the palms into the shins, straighten your elbows, knees, and spine. Stretch and straighten everything. Feel that core activated, working to support your spine. And then exhale, hands to the floor, tucking your chin gently in. And one more roll up, shoulders back and down into mountain pose. And we'll do our just gentle balance practice because we haven't done that in a while. So spread your toes, get that foot activated so you're coming into the ball of the foot, not the toes themselves. Don't grip with the toes, that loses your balance. Keep the arch lifting, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. So remember, you may need to roll in at the top of the thigh to get that lined up, up to your shoulder. Activate your core so your spine is supported. Shoulders are relaxed back and down, around to the ceiling. And when you're ready, bring the other foot a little or more or toward your heart. Remember, don't cross it over, keep it straight. And when you get your balance, work your ankle both ways so that we keep our ankles flexible and don't become old ladies or men with stiff ankles. And then flex and point before putting it down, straightening that leg foot back out. And get ready to balance on the other leg. So go ahead and sink into that opposite foot. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, shoulders relaxed, back and down. And the other foot comes up when you're ready. And again, as far up and straight as you can make it. And work your ankle when you're ready. Both ways, make sure that it's nice and flexible. And then straightening it out, bring the foot back to the foot. Sink evenly into your feet, exhaling tension. Clasp your fingers together and press them out in front of you. Even those wrists working a little bit. Bring the hands up right above your head and then bend one elbow, bringing it across. Press them up. Bring the other one down and down. Shoulders are down. Bring your hands straight out to the front, pressing out through the palms. And release. And then clasp your hands this time. Bring the hands out. And again, up toward the ceiling, pressing out through the fists and elbow bending. And back up. And down. And back up. Bring it out, shoulders down, and then bring the hands down toward the floor. And back out, and release. And then clasp your hands the opposite way. So shift the fingers one position over. And again, arms out, up to the ceiling. Keep the shoulders down, bend one elbow, move across, back up. Other elbow down, up, 
Bring the arms out, shoulders down, and again, bring the hands around inside and down. And out, and release. Move those shoulders around, get that circulation going again one more time. And then clasp your hands behind you, just like we did before. And press them to the floor, bringing the heels of your palms together. And as you do that, feel that chest expand and open. And just allow your whole body to feel that opening across the heart. And then release that. And take your hands and clasp them the other way behind you. Press the heels of the palms together. And again, pressing down, feeling that chest expansion. Shoulders down and back, restless hands toward the floor. Hips right above your ankles. And release. Take a moment, just feeling your arms a little bit more activated. And then bring your hands to your heart. Inhale toward the ceiling, a little bit of bend one more time. Exhaling over all the way to the ground. Hands under your knees for your halfway up stretch. Stretch the back of your neck and the rest of your spine. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Sitting bones and crowns stretching away. Bend your knees, transition to the floor. Take a moment in child pose, hips back toward your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor for our transition. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. And then bring your arms out in front. We're going to pivot up, bring your hands further toward the front of the mat. Line up your wrists, elbows, and shoulders. And then tuck your toes under behind you, hip, feet hip width apart, coming into plank position. So really activate that core, lift through those hip bones, and make sure your ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders are all lined up. Shoulder blades going toward your waist. Activate the core, spread the fingers. The whole palm is supporting you. And just feel that plank position, pressing out through the heels and stretching the head the opposite way. Take a moment to breathe. Let that core support you. Make sure that you're not sinking your hips down. If you need to, push your hips up a little bit. Take a moment to feel that core working to support your spine. Exhale any tension. And then either shifting your shoulders over your fingers and bending your elbows and lowering, or first bringing your feet to the floor, lower your body all the way down. Forehead to the floor, go ahead, bring your hands next to your hips, palms up, turn your head to one side, rest in crocodile, just let those shoulders go down, exhale, any tension. Take a moment to breathe there, and then on an exhalation, turn your head to the opposite side. Always work the neck evenly as we do our practices. And then bringing your forehead back to the floor, bring your hands next to your face, palms down, forehead on the mat, elbows in toward your sides. And then inhaling, turn your face to the front. As you do that, tuck your chin back toward your chest so your neck keeps stretching. And then focus on the heart middle of your upper chest, bring it forward and up, shoulders back and down, and come into a little sphinx position. So imagine you're in Egypt looking at that massive sphinx sculpture in the middle of the desert. Stretch your crown toward the ceiling, keep those shoulders, shoulder blades going down toward your waist. And remember, you don't have a lot of pressure in your hands and arms. They're just positioning you so you get that upper body into the nice back bend. Take a breath. Exhale, bring your forehead back down. Take a moment to breathe and relax. And then bring your hands back under your shoulders. And we'll do a full cobra. So feet are hip-width apart, the lower body does nothing, cobra, remember. 
And we're inhaling the face to the front, crown up, chin comes back slightly towards your chest so that chest can go forward and up. Your elbows are still bent here. And then if you want, you can put a little pressure in your hands and bring your crown toward the ceiling, raising your upper body slightly, coming a little bit more into that lower back in your back bend for the full cobra. You don't have to straighten your elbows fully ever. You want the spine doing the work. So you're not putting pressure in your hands. You're just guiding yourself up. Take a breath. Relax the shoulders. Keep that chest moving forward and up. Keep that chin slightly toward your chest so that the neck keeps stretching as well. Take a moment to breathe, and remember, if you find it too much, you can always lower that down. Another breath, maybe a little higher if you love it. And then slowly, one bone at a time, come on all the way back. Now your forehead touches the mat. At the moment there, breathing. Keep the hands under the shoulders, and press up and back into child's pose. Feel that forward bend counteracting our back bend. And just let the whole spine stretch, forehead down toward the floor. Exhale, tension. And then inhaling, sit up and come into stand position. So heels pressing out. Toes up toward the ceiling, knees up toward the ceiling, shoulders back and down, core supporting your spine, and spine stretching out through the top of your head, sitting bones slightly behind you. Remember, you can pad if you need to, to facilitate that hip opening, and exhale any tension. We're going to bring one arm out to the front, and pull the hand down. So keep your shoulders both relaxed. Feel the stretch across the back of your wrist. Take a moment there, breathing. Do you want to stretch it out, push through that heel of the palm or back of the hand area. And then turn the fingers up toward the ceiling, press the heel of the palm, the bottom of your wrist out. And again, the shoulders both stay down, shoulder blades toward your waist, crown toward the ceiling, core activated, supporting your spine, just press out through that hand. And then release the hand, parallel to the floor, spread the fingers out, and then push each finger down one at a time. Feel the back of your hands stretch a little bit. And then when you're done with that direction, pull them back, and feel the palms stretch a little bit as you come back all the way across. When you get done, you can put the other hand down and spread your fingers on that elevated hand and then spread them some more. And then pull the hand back, pressing out through the heel of the palm. Open that palm to the front, up to the sun and the sky. Really pushing out through that whole arm and hand. And then shake it out. And release that arm. Feel the difference on the two sides. So, yeah, we've got to balance with our other hand coming up. So, pull that hand down, stretching it through the back of the wrist. Stretch it out just as much as you'd like. Turn the palm out, fingertips up, and push out through the heel of the palm. And again, get that whole arm activated and pushing. And then flatten your hand parallel to the floor. Keep the shoulders down. Push each finger down, stretching across the back of your hand. And pulling each finger back. Feeling the palm get a little stretch when you're ready to come the opposite way across. And whenever you're done with Hand goes to your lap as the other one stretches the fingers apart. Keep both shoulders down. Keep the core activated. The crown reaching up toward the ceiling, stretching out those fingers. Pull the palm toward the front, up toward the sun and the sky. And shake it out. And speaking of sun and sky, let's do our diving dolphin. 
So bring your foot to the inner thigh with the knee out to the side as much as it'll go. And then bend your other knee, bring that heel near your hip, back next to your body. Stretch your spine apart. This hip will be up because we're going to twist. So exhaling, hips, ribs, shoulder, turn toward that first knee you bend. Ribs go in, chin tucks, exhale, dive under. Rotate your face forward, lift your heart, stretch the back of your neck as you come up to the sun and the sky. Remember, you're the dolphin. You're exhaling as you dive under the water toward your knee. And you're inhaling, coming up to the sun and the sky with those shoulders going down and that spine opening. So forward bending on the way down, backward bending as much as you like, lifting the heart on the way up. When you get to the top next time, stop, exhaling, pause to the front, and release back to staff position. Feel your body, again, a little more activated through the whole spine, but of course, we need to balance and dive our dolphin the other way. So foot to your inner thigh, knee out to the side, heel back near your hip on the other way. Again, this hip is up so that your hips, ribs, and shoulder can turn as you stretch that spine apart and go into your twist. Hands on your leg or floor and tuck your chin gently as you dive your forehead toward the floor, toward that knee, and then face forward, lifting, stretching through the back of your neck as you come up, chest high to the sun in the sky. So you're the dolphin. Go ahead and dive under. And then arch on the way up, coming into a nice back bend. And let your dolphin be as leapy and playful as it wants. And again, the next time you come to the top, just pause, releasing your legs and bringing them to the end of the mat. Activate your core, let yourself roll slowly down and allow your body to relax onto the mat. Hands, palms up or down, T position. Shoulders down into the floor just gently. And we'll do our final twist. Let's just do our bent knee twist today. So sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down. Draw your heels towards your hips. And your knees up toward the ceiling. Press the back gently down and lift your feet. Knees right above your hips. Roll the knees over to one side and turn your head to the opposite side. Shoulders, shoulder blades down. You can have your hands, palms up or down, whatever keeps that most connected through your shoulders. Take a moment to breathe, just relaxing, letting your whole body soften into the twist. Remember head turning, neck area twist, gentle there. Your neck needs to be gentle. And knees coming to the side, pad if you need to. It can need a low back twist to be gentle. And keep those shoulders down for that middle back area to twist. Take a breath. And then bring your heels toward your hips. Roll onto your back so we can twist the other way. And again, shoulders down, hands, palms up or down. Knees right above your hips and bring them over to the side. And again, knees coming as far toward the floor as they want, and head turning the opposite direction as much as you need and want. And again, low back twist with those knees down, head turning for that neck twist, and keep those shoulders down for that middle back twist on this side. And again, always only allow the twist to happen, never force it. Just breathe with it, exhale, relaxing, deepening as much as your body wants. And of course, you hold these on your own longer, but to get our relaxation in, draw your heels toward your hips and roll onto your back, feet to the floor, sliding out, coming into our relaxation corpse position. Hands, palms up away from your side, and let shoulders and shoulder blades down. Toes together and then just relax your whole lower body. Move your head side to side, releasing any tension in your neck and jaw. And exhale any tension. 
As you breathe, just let your body grow heavy and sink into that surface beneath you and let it go. You let the earth support you as your body relaxes completely. And as that happens, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your mind. And then release any other thoughts that come to your mind because it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts and it's your choice whether you pay attention. So at this moment, let the thoughts go without attention. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let them go, drifting away as easily as you go. And as you relax and release through your body and your mind, just allow your awareness to turn inward. Find that peace deep within and fill your body with it. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments in peace. If that relaxation today is feeling wonderful, just keep relaxing as long as you have opportunity. If it's time now to get ready for the rest of your day, when you're ready to begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. And whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, Sitting bones toward your heels, back gently pressing down, draw your heels toward your hips, and then your knees up toward your head. Wrap your arms around, however feels good for your appreciative yoga hug today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you've had enough hug and appreciation, go ahead and bring your feet and head to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back, drop, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.